we both work at the Citizens Advice Bureau Pakaranga. So, Mary, how long have you been here? Um, I think I was, came here when I retired, so it's about three years ago. So I've been here about three years. Oh, and what made you interested in joining the Citizens Advice Bureau? Oh, well, I was, I was quite interested because I wanted to do something useful. But also, I really enjoy it, hearing people's stories and trying to help them to sort out little bits and pieces in their lives. Right. Mm. So cool. Do you have an exciting or a, an interesting story where you felt like you've helped someone in their life? Yeah, yeah. I was just um, thinking that um, a little while ago I had a couple come in, elderly Chinese couple, who said English wasn't great. Yeah. And um, they had this really, really well looked after old car that they'd had for years and years and looked after really well. And one day somebody went into the back room and um, the insurance company, I'm not sure it was theirs or the other ones, the insurance company said yes they'd pay out but that they would wreck the car because it wasn't safe. Mm -hmm. And they, they said well we can't buy anything else for, for 2000 so it seemed like really unfair and so they showed me a picture of the damage and it was really minor, just a tiny little dent. So I rang the insurance company and said, you know, I'm from the citizens advice and can you tell me? And they said, oh, we've got to write it off because the car's dangerous. And I said, well, it's a really small, small little damage. So how come it's dangerous? And they said, oh, well, you know, you sometimes can't see it and our, our assessors would have noticed it. Mm. So then I talked to the clients again and they said, oh, no, no assessor looked at it. We just took it to the panel leaders and we took a photo and we had it. And we're driving around in it since then. So I rang her back and said, have your assessors actually looked at it? And, um, and she was so embarrassed that she said, oh, well, actually, she went off to her supervisor and said, actually, we're going to let them keep the car and um, we'll give them $2,000 to fix the car. And they were really, really happy. That's amazing. So that's a really, a really good um, outcome. So it's really nice to, to, to actually see, because often when people come in, we help them at the time, but we don't know what happened. Yeah. But that was really good that we did know. Right. And what would you like to say to the Pakaranga community about Citizens Advice Bureau? What do you want to contact us? Yes. Ring us up. Yes. <laughs> Ring us up. Come in. Um, I mean, we do have a, a website, a CAB website, and you can look things up. But um, I think a lot of people find, especially people who are not great on computers, mm -hmm. often find that they can come in and they can talk. And sometimes they might just want to talk. Yeah. And we'll just listen to them. And you know, we won't judge them. Mm. And um, you know, you don't have to be a citizen. You yeah. can be anybody living in New Zealand. Mm. And. Um, we're always pleased, we're volunteers, we're here to help, and so we're really keen. We're always keen to, to get out there and help you and do what we can to help you sort out your problem. Amazing. Thank you, Mary, for your service. You're very welcome. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a lovely day.